Today's topic is going to be quite the packed one, as we will be covering one of the most versatile tools contained within one of the most versatile programs in the industry. It's Blender's Grease Pencil. So let's jump in. Before we hop into the more complicated features, let's start with the most basic thing you can do. And I'm using basic in the sense that it will set the base for the rest of the stuff that we will be discussing today. So, drawing. And now, despite it being a 3D program, this tool allows you to draw and paint not unlike any other drawing software in the market. The standard draw mode allows you to do just that, draw, but the program also provides other methods that will allow you to edit any stroke to your best convenience. There is a multitude of brushes you can work from, and even more that are downloadable, replicating a multitude of different mediums and styles. And the drawing experience is, again, quite similar to working in a 2D illustration software. Although it would require a bit of thinking outside the box in terms of tool usage. For example, a filling a base color can be done through creating a new material. Sketchy Squirrel, in his video titled Blender Grease Pencil Head Turn, expands on how to use these different tools provided to not only illustrate, but to also rig a basic head, uh, which would be useful for what is coming later. The main feature that Grease Pencil is designed and used for is 2D frame-by-frame -frame animation. Well, 2D animation. In name only, as by all intents and purposes, you are still using a 3D object and animating over a 3D space. Grease Pencil comes with a pre-built intuitive timeline. The keyframes are very easy to place and manipulate. These would allow you to traditionally animate through drawing and editing one frame at a time. It also supports customized onion skinning and the use of collections and layers for you to have the most streamlined animation process possible. If you don't feel like drawing every individual frame, you may also draw and rig any image that is originally two-dimensional and use that as a base for puppet animation, as is wildly used in modern cartoons, since as a technique it can save you both some time and budget. You can take advantage of the same editing modes as we have discussed in the drawing section earlier to alter and transform the same illustration in different keyframes to serve as bases for movements as well. It's an overall absurdly versatile tool that will allow you to create incredibly detailed animations while keeping all the advantages of working through vectors. This versatility remains when trying to explore and replicate a multitude of styles, referencing a wide visual library that you can draw inspiration from. In addition to all that you may clip your grease pencil layer to a camera to simplify panning and follow up. Before getting into all the advanced things that you are able to do in Grease Pencil, we recommend you take a look at CG Cookie's Blender Basics 22 2D animation with Grease Pencil, where he walks you through the basics of navigating keyframes in the timeline, layers, as well as the different render modes in Blender and how they display different materials while sharing his process of animating a simple happy sun. So now that we have established that you can do frame by frame animation with a Grease Pencil, what a revelation, let's cover a another technique that uses similar principles, and that's rotoscoping. This technique is all about transforming a live action sequence into an animated one by drawing over it, and that can be very easily achieved through this tool as you can import any reference video into the software with a simple right click. For the rest, you simply need to add your keyframes and build your drawings accordingly. You also get a lot of freedom in stylization in both rendering style as well as any creative freedom you may want to take in exaggerating movement through the aforementioned onion skinning system. To help you better understand this process, we have three videos for you to check out. The first one is by Twat555 who will walk you through most of the key steps required in order to get you started on rotoscoping as a whole. Team Miracles also has a similar video with a slightly different process working from a 3D space instead of the grease pencil layer. Once you are acquainted with the basics, Team Miracles will show you how to rotoscope over 3D animations made directly using Blender in their video titled Rotoscoping over 3D animations with grease pencil. You cannot be more specific than that. Whether it's through importing pre-made animations or by creating your own, this can be very helpful for animating more complex action sequences or something with more dynamic camera movement, as yet again, you can simply parent your grease pencil layer to your camera and this layer will follow its exact movements. All this is cool and all, but it's not always interesting to animate a character floating in a weight void, uh, hence why the need for drawing some backgrounds to serve, well, as a background.
The advantage of Grease Pencil comes in its ability to allow you the animation directly on top of 3D backgrounds, which can save a lot of time when working on longer term, larger scale projects. However, on a smaller scale, it can be more beneficial to simply draw whatever it is that you need to make your scene more immersive. And since we have already established that you can draw in Grease Pencil, well, you know where this is going. As an added benefit to illustrating your environments from scratch, you can take advantage of working in a 3D space in a 3D program to layer, rig, pan through, and individually animate your background assets. It also simplifies separating and animating your foreground, midground, and background. To help you get started, we recommend you check out Exynox's Grease Pencil 2D slash 3D process stylized blue anime house, which is a time lapse showcasing the process of creating a simple house from a 3D sculpt all the way to Grease Pencil detailing. After you are acquainted with the basics, the Cruza will teach you how to create a true to its name 2D scene of a campfire in his video, Blender 2D slash 3D campfire scene, in both day and nighttime lighting. Uh, he also showcases some interesting animated particles as a bonus. And last but not least, Team Miracles will teach you how to combine your previous learnings in order to fully take advantage of the Blender 3D space to properly animate and pan through an entire scene. Next, we have Asset Making for Video Games. Now, I know what you're thinking. A 3D program capable of creating 3D assets for a 3D game. Boo hoo, who would have thought? But hear me out. Through Grease Pencil, you will be able to draw, rig, and animate assets for 2D games as well, with all the freedoms that come from using a 3D software. Sketchy Squirrel comes through yet again and will walk you through the process of making a simple platformer game from scratch, including drawing rigging of a simple character in Grease Pencil. For all you beginner and aspiring video game devs, this could represent a great starting point for you. The last thing we would like to cover today is motion graphics. Using all the tools and assets that we have mentioned earlier, you are indeed able to make simple or complex images move. And although there isn't a text tool per se, you are able to draw and animate littering by doing it manually. So. To get you started, we recommend you check out two videos. The first one is by GQB, which is a time lapse documenting how he transformed the 2D raster illustration into a fully rigged movable illustration. And for a more comprehensive guide, Team Miracles teaches you how to replicate um, this channel's video with the use of Grease Pencil. Blender is among the most versatile software available on the market, a jack of all trades that is very beginner friendly, and Grease Pencil is no different. It's open source as well, so if you have the time and hardware, it isn't all that demanding either, feel free to give it a try and we promise that you won't regret it. And that's all we have for you today. We hope this video helped to provide you with some inspiration. Be sure to share your experiences of Grease Pencil with us in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe while you are down there, and thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you soon. So do take care. Bye-bye.